Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna uh, talk about concatenation in Excel. Um, it, uh, concatenation plays an important role in building Excel applications. In fact, I mean, uh, if you build something in Excel beyond the simplistic sp uh, spreadsheet, you will at some time have to deal with concatenation because it gives you some added power. And um, there are actually two ways of, uh, doing, uh, of achieving concatenation. Once one is with the with the function concatenate, and we'll try it out here. Let's say I wish to, um, uh, you know, I've got the names here, middle names, surnames, and the department. And now I wish in a separate field to have or a separate cell uh, to have both the name and the surname together, separated by a space. So I can take the um, get the insert function assistant and go to concatenate. Now it's here mostly recently used. You would find it under text and uh, it is there right and the way it works is like this now the first the first uh, building block I need is the name then I click in the next cell now the next building block is the empty space so I just type in empty space the third building block is then the surname and that's it and now I've got in the cell here I've got like both things uh, together. Now, the, obviously, the advantage of concatenation is because in most uh, spreadsheets or databases, you it's much easier to enter the the, the 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 components separately, like names, middle names, surnames, departments, streets, uh, zip code, etc. And then with concatenation, you can um, combine those into a sort of a composite uh, content or composite cell. You don't have to retype it. Now, with the function concatenation works pretty well, but in my opinion, once you once you do a lot of concatenation, it's much easier to do it manually. And the way that works is like this. Uh, you just put in equal, and I'm repeating the exercise from above, this. Now, that's the first building block. Now, I wish to attach the space, i.e. the second building block, so I just put an ampersand, now the second building block is a space, open quotation. Any 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 static text comes in quotation marks. Not cell references, but static text. And in this time, in this case, we just have a space, and then another ampersand for the third block or a third building block. There's the surname. Okay, and then I basically achieve the same thing as above without having to call that concatenate function. Now with concatenation, you can also insert not just the uh, uh, cell references and, and static text but also functions so for instance uh, let's do it here let's say I wish to have the name the first letter of the middle name followed by a dot and then the surname how do I do that well let's do it manually now comes the second building block which is a space and now comes the third building block which is the I need here a function which extracts the leftmost letter of the middle name. And there's a function called, surprisingly, called left. I could either call it here via the assistant, or I can write it in manually. Let's try it with the assistant. Uh, it is left. There we are. Okay. Now, left means I take this cell, and I need the leftmost character, the leftmost first character. Okay. So if I do like two, then I would get LO. If I got three, I got like LOU and so on. But I just need the first one. So there it is. So I got that. Now if you see here, I already got Alfred L. Now I need, now comes the next uh, dot and a space separating the L dot from the surname and then another ampersand and then that. So you see, there we are. Okay. And um, so you see what I have here are cell, cell references. I've got like static te text, in this, in this case the, the space, or here a dot and a space, and I got a function. And there are other ways to concatenate as well because, uh, you, for instance, you can, you can add returns. For instance, let's say I wish to have the name in the same cell, and below the name, I would want a department. So I can here simply add, 
another building block ampersand now a return can be in, uh, uh, um, inserted with with the following function char for character open paren and you type in the number now the number the code for uh, for return is 10 okay now that's that's the return and then another building block and now the sales department so and I got like let me just uh, fill down I got like a weird symbol here because the cells by default do not allow um, re uh, carriage returns or or uh, you know um, two lines within the cell so you got to do that via format you, you just select the whole column and then go format cells alignment and wrap text so that means here now you got carriage returns within the cell and you see here I got that and, and like I said char 10 is carriage return then you got other codes like um, uh, 153 char 153 is the TM sign the uh, char 169 is the copyright sign I'm gonna put uh, some of these codes uh, at the bottom of this description so let's let's try out the copyright so copyright is char 169 so I'll just try it like that char 169 okay and then ampersand let's do a space and let's take uh, the surname so now you go copyright brown and I can uh, see so that's char and uh, and char um, 153 is the TM sign trademark sign so basically if I have a brand called um, like that and brown and space and char one uh, 50 53 so I got like here let me just expand that Alfred Brown TM so this is the kind of stuff you can do with concatenation however that's not all another example I've got another example here where concatenation plays an important role I've got here a table full of cars and I wish to choose a car and I wish to get the price of that car now here normally uh, if you have just one uh, criteria after which uh, um, after which you search for cars you could easily do that with a VLOOKUP but here we have three so what do I do well I can still use the VLOOKUP I just combine these three criteria so basically uh, I've got to combine these three criteria in the first column because in the VLOOKUP the first column has to got to reflect or has to be of the same type as your lookup so basically here let me let me just try that car code uh, make it bold so we're going after we want to concatenate brand doors and year so equal there and now I'm using as a instead of a space I'm just using a, 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 a you know a hyphen as a, as, a, as a as a means of of binding uh, or linking these uh, multiple building blocks you can use any sign you want I'm just going to use a hyphen and then comes the second building block oops did I, I just forgot the and and then the second building block and another hyphen and the year right so now I have my lookup criteria as a first column and now I can use a VLOOKUP VLOOKUP is under matrix yeah sorry I'm using the German uh, lookup and reference it's called in German it's called matrix uh, look, uh, VLOOKUP VLOOKUP right what's the lookup value well judging by the first column I, my lookup value is not the brand or doors or year but basically a combination of these three and bound by the same method basically by a hyphen so basically my lookup value is this and hyphen and this and hyphen and the year right now where's my array there's my array where's where's what column in what, what do I need I need the price which column is that well one two three four five so it's in the fifth column and range lookup well basically I'm looking for an exact match so I'm putting in false uh, sorry just misspelled that false there we are we got an a and a means not available and that's true because I don't have any three-door BMWs 
respect of the year but like if I do two I got like this car here all right and if I do a Merc with four doors and uh, let's say 2014 I got this car here okay so you see basically now it doesn't matter if you know V lookups or you don't it doesn't matter what, what I'm trying to show here that I couldn't solve this problem without concatenation because I had to concatenate two things. First, the lookup, uh, the first column of this of this matrix or of this array, and the second thing I've got to uh, with concatenation I had to create my my lookup value. And without concatenation, I could not possibly solve or 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 or, or create such a such a such a an application. So that's why concatenation. You see how concatenation is very important in stuff like that. Regardless, now whether you know VLOOKUPs or you don't, it doesn't matter. And a third example where concatenation plays an important role, I've got here uh, a drop down where you choose A or B. And depending on your choice, if you choose A, you would get this. And if you choose B, you would get this. All right? So again, here, if I, so basically, the way you do it, if you, if you, if you do it normally, just like uh, you just say equal and just click here and return. Now you see, the, let me take that equal off. So you can see that's the formula we use. And the problem with that formula is it always points to sheet A, D3. So basically, but I need something dynamic which, which changes. So now I got to be here, I got to have a B here. So in order to achieve something like that, I have to create my own um, cell reference, if you wish, and that you achieve with uh, the function indirect. So again, I call a function, um, uh, insert function wizard, and there is the function indirect. Now indirect, I'm trying to emulate this function here. So I basically open uh, quotation because I'm typing in first the text, sheet underscore. Now close quotation, I'm not gonna type the A, but Instead, I'm going to put an ampersand and then click on that cell because that's where I'm going to get my sheet name from. And then ampersand and I'm going to uh, write down the rest of the text, basically exclamation mark D3. Right? And close. Uh, sorry. No no need for uh, yet. I need close uh, quotations. Right. And now here I can either type in true or false. Because we're using just normal cell references, I just type in true. Right, and you see now, if I type B, which is basically I get this stuff, and if I type, if I input A, I get this stuff, and this, it, now again, I must emphasize, it does not matter whether you know indirect or not. What's important here is that, again, I couldn't do this example without concatenation, because here I had to build my own cell reference, I had to emulate this cell reference, but I had to turn it into, this is a static cell reference, I had to turn that into a dynamic cell reference. And the only way I could emulate that is with the function indirect. And within indirect, I have to concatenate. I could not possibly do it otherwise. And this is what's important. So, so concatenation plays an important role in Excel, not just, you know, to, to link up f first name and surnames but also in calculations in, 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 in calculations like with the VLOOKUP or in other calculations like the indirect function. So this is a very important role. And you see here through these examples, it's way easier to, do the, uh, uh, to, to, to achieve your concatenation manually without having to call that function concatenation. Much easier. I mean, it's very easy to remember. You just, you know, uh, your static text come to quotation marks, cell references, you click, and every building block gets separated by an ampersand. It's very easy to, to remember. It's actually quite logical, okay? And that is just a, just, a, just a demo to show you how important concatenation is and that concatenation goes be beyond just, you know, linking up text together.